Hello everyone, how's it going? And welcome to today's Wild Rift video. In this video, we're going to be checking out Jin on the new patch. Jin has received some few changes, few adjustments, and a few nerfs that happened to Jin in this most recent patch, which means the build is slightly different to what it was before. Because we are losing quite a lot of damage output now in the later stages of the game. So we kind of compensate that. We're going for a full damage Jin build. No more Stoic Gauge or anything anymore. We're just going for as much damage as possible. Now, with Jin, with the nerfs that he received in this patch, I'm going to show them on screen now and kind of talk you through them and what this does to change Jin in general so you can see the passive the whisper passive the attack damage bonus per level has gone from five percent down to four percent this basically means that Jin loses one percent damage at every single level so at level one one percent at level two two percent at level three three percent so at level 10 you lose 10 percent damage and level 15 you lose 15 percent attack damage which is a lot he does not do as much damage now in the later stages of the game compared to before that means like items like steric gauge might not work as well as before it still gives you a lot of ad it still gives you a lot of hp but i think going for more damage output items kind of compensates from the damage loss that you're getting now from the passive the other thing with the whisper passive is the movement speed bonus crit uh crit ratio now has gone up by five percent so it's gone from 10 to 15 percent so that means if you crit you get more movement speed cool pretty much pretty nice for Jin. and then dots and grenade the first ability the attack damage bonus has gone down by five percent every single rank uh this affects a little bit for Jin. Kind of nerfs his wave clear, kind of nerfs a little bit of his poke damage because you can use your first ability to poke enemies, champions, if you want to. But to be fair, I don't think this change is going to go do too much. I think the big change is the whisper passive, the attack damage ratio. That being nerfed is a really, really big nerf for Jin. However, he is still a very, very strong champion with this build. So with this build, we're going to go for Collector as the first item. This hasn't changed from before. Collector is still a very strong item. It's very cheap. It's very quick to just rush on Jin. The component items are also pretty decent. 40 AD, 25% crit rate, and 10 armor penetration. Overall, not the best stats, but it's pretty decent. The Death's Attacks passive is what makes this item really good for Jin. Now, the thing is with Collector, it's not very good on champions that have a lot of attack speed. and can auto attack a lot and do a lot of damage with their auto attacks. But for someone like Jin, for example that reloads the extra five percent execution that you get when they're below five percent health can mean a lot of difference because Jin does a lot of damage with his auto attacks however his auto attacks are very very slow so that difference that you get from auto attacking with collector and getting to execute can really mean a difference between carrying and maybe not carrying a fight so collector very very strong infinity edge is still really really good 55 AD, 25% crit rate, and overall our critical strikes are going to deal 205% damage instead of 175%. So overall, really nice damage uh, boost for Jim. For the boots, you still go for the boots of Fura for the extra movement speed. You can go for any of the other two defensive boots if you want to. You can go for play steel caps or mercury treads, and then go for stasis as your boots upgrade. Then for your third item, this is pretty flexible. You can either go for a mortal shield bow, or you can go for bloodthirster. Now overall, bloodthirster will give you more ad because the changes that happened to this item <laughs> however shield bow gives you that lifeline passive now lifeline passive can be very very helpful as a third item because you have 75 percent crit which means the lifeline passive even though it got nerfed in the most recent patch you're actually going to make do with that nerf because you're going to be building a lot of crit beforehand anyway so overall pretty good to go for shield bow as the third item ad crit attack speed physical vamp really really nice for Jin. As I said, I think if you're against assassins or bruisers, especially fed bruisers, and you feel like you need the lifeline shield, go for a mortal shield bow. But if you're against like a full squishy team, then just go for bloodthirster, go for as much damage output as possible, and deal a lot of damage with your auto attacks. Then in between these two items, we have immortal shield bow as our armor pen item now this doesn't give us a crit that lord domix regard does but because we're building four critical strike items we don't need critical strike on our armor pen item anymore we could just go for more mortal reminder which gives us more ad uh, which allows us to um ad apply grievous wounds to enemy champions so overall pretty good item i think overall this is probably the best build for jim as i said there's loads of different situational items you can go for gym as i mentioned lord domix regard you can go for that storm razor is not a bad item if you want the slow the slow could be very very good guardian angel is also very good like i said there's loads of other situational items even steric gauge is still really good if you want to go for that option but just remember you can't build steric gauge and immortal shore bow because they both have the lifeline passive 
for the runes fleet footwork still the go-to rune to go for Jin. gives you movement speed gives you a little bit of healing during laning phase and allows you to restore mana if you need to as well overall just a really good passive rune for Jin. just allow him to scale well into the middle late game because that movement speed on top of the bonus movement speed that you get from crit is really nice and gives Jin a lot more mobility giant slayer this could be swapped out for triumph if you feel like you need triumph giant slayer really good against champions that are building bonus health but for triumph pretty good against squishy champions so i one or two would be good bone plating again another good rune this could be sw swapped out for perseverance if you get a lot of crowd control bone plating no it's still a very very strong rune and the transcendence giving enemy uh, giving you ability haste when you reach level one level six and at level seven uh, level 11 after a basic ability hits the target you reduce the cooldown by 15 percent so if you use a dancing grenade and you hit a champion if you use your second ability or even your third ability at champion that will reduce the cooldown so it helps out a little bit you can go for something else like maybe nimbus cloak or even sweet tooth both them runes also work really well again completely depends on your play style with our summon spells being flash and ghost ghost is quite nice for Jin, just to give him more movement speed because hey who doesn't love more movement speed on Jin? But yeah, overall, as I mentioned, Jin is still a very, very strong champion this patch. Highly recommend to still play Jin with this build. Let me know what your thoughts are of the build. And as always, take care, enjoy the gameplay, and I'll see you in the next wild video. Peace. How am I going to do any damage to this Malphite this game? I don't know how to do any damage to this Malphite. How do I play the game against the Malphite? Who knows? Who knows? I cannot be Who perfect. knows? I must be perfection. Ignite still kills me. I didn't think Ignite would kill me there. I did not think Ignite would kill me. That's kind of one. That's kind of sad. Uh, is Ice Bomb Gauntlet a good second item on Ezreal? No, no, it's not. Ezreal just Ezreal with Ice Bomb Gauntlet is just not a good item in general. Even if you're against like five AD, it's still not a good item because you lose way too much damage. K1, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it.
Nice. Okay, not bad, not bad. Not bad, we take the dubs. Four. We take the dubs. Also got all these minions crashing in top lane as well, which is quite nice. Let's go. The perfect setup, baby. The perfect setup. Actually, no, but we won't go back. It won't go back. What in my W? We got it. Got in my auto attack. Sorry. Secured it with my four shot. Secured the Drake with my four shot. Hashtag worth it. Jin is a nasty champion. Yeah, he's pretty nasty. He's pretty disgusting. Especially when he's ahead, he's pretty difficult to deal with. Just like that. Boom. Just like that. He could be pretty annoying to deal with. Uh, can we get this tower? Probably. I guess we take this tower. Holy mo- I have 4,500 golds! The hell? I have so much golds. I'll go for Bloodthirster, I guess. Bloodthirster into probably Mortal Reminder. Nice, well played. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the Malphite. I don't know where he went, to be honest. Fabulous. The work is what matters. <laughs> to be honest, I have no idea where the Malphite went. I was trying to land my ulti, but couldn't. Are you rooting for Inter last night, Shu? Uh, I wasn't really rooting for anyone. I was watching it, but I'm not really rooting for any anyone because I don't really support Man City. But I guess it's kind of cool that they won the uh, won the triple. 
The right balance, balance Kaiser. Yeah, nerf base attack speed and then second ability damage. But to be honest, it's not enough. It's not enough. The Q is only nerfed to jungle monsters, so it doesn't do anything in lane or anything. If you're, play if you're playing Kaiser Duo lane. I thought probably ulted away. Oh, yeah, true. I didn't think of that. I didn't think of that. Did not think of that. Bloodthirster, let's go. My audience awaits. I can Time to kill the Drake again? The four shot? I didn't secure it. Unlucky. My triple kill. My God, I'm just getting both his boss will spawn. <laughs> Got it. the snipe that was kind of cool i threaded the needle chat through them I must be threaded the needle I also, I think I force shot the Zinjiao instead of the Baron. I think I force shot the Baron, uh, the Zinjiao instead of the Baron. It's kind of unfortunate. Oh, another 4k gold. Don't mind me. Another 4k gold. Wait, do I need? Nah, I'll be fine. Another 4k gold. It's fine. It's only. Oh, I mean, they all get barren. Actually, I forgot. I forgot they all get barren, even if they die. The work is what matters.
It's an interesting play. Very interesting play from the Akali there, trying to jump in on me. <laughs> Holy moly, I'm 11 and 1, by the way. What the hell is going on? Can I get 20 kills, chat? Can I get 20 kills? I can be good. Thoughts? Maybe I can get 20 kills this game. Give me 20 kills. They surrender. I wanted 20 kills. Ah, uh, man. Unlucky. We tried. We tried. We tried. 18 kills is more than enough. It's not quite 20, but 18 kills is still pretty good. Hey, Jin feels pretty okay still. Jin still feels pretty okay this patch. Actually, feels. Pretty good. I mean, he loses like quite a lot of damage. I lost like what? I'm level 14, so I lose 14% damage this game. Um, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. GG's. GG's.